Penalty areas include any body of water on the golf course plus any other area marked by red or yellow stakes or lines. If you happen to find your ball in a penalty area, you can always play it as it lies. Before playing a stroke, it's okay to ground your club, take practice swings that touch the ground, and move loose impediments. If you choose to take relief, the color of the stakes will indicate how many options are available, but all come with one penalty stroke. The first option is stroke and distance, which means you can go back to the spot where you last played. The second is to imagine a straight line from the hole through the point where your ball last crossed the edge of the penalty area and drop on that line behind it. Your ball can roll up to one club length in any direction from where it first struck the course, including forward. You have a third relief option available only if your ball winds up in a red penalty area, which allows you to drop within two club lengths of where your ball last crossed into that penalty area, no closer to the hole. There may also be an area marked as a dropping zone that could be available as an additional option.